Every Thursdays, the environmental club meets up at the cafeteria and splits up into small groups and collects paper recyclables all over the school. So what are you doing exactly? Well, right now, as part of the recycling club, we go around the whole high school every Thursday to pick up every class we can to recycling. All right, so is it important to you to do this? Uh, yeah, because being a part of low high school, we do have a very large carbon footprint and we need to take responsibility for it. All right, thank you. So, um, why do you do this? Because uh, I think it's good to help the earth and recycle what we like in. What do you know about recycling? That it helps take use, like taking used products and sorry, okay, and allows extra reserve sources and take less from the earth. So are you guys doing paper only? Paper and cardboard. On top of weekly recycling, the, the River Ambassador Program and the Environmental Club also help with local events such as the Lowell Folk Festival, the Lowell F Winterfest, and we also have collaborations with other environmental focus groups around Lowell. Okay, what are you guys here doing today? Um, we're here with the Environmental Club who's partnering with the RAT program. We're doing recycling for Winterfest. All right, so like, what have you guys been doing? Um, we've been taking bins and putting them. them around the area where they can put bottles and stuff. Okay, nice. <laughs> With Lola Youth, we, um, we run environmental education programs with middle school and high school age youth. Um, some of you we recognize from other programs that we've worked with, so you, might be, you guys might be able to help give uh, your peers some insight into what we do and uh, you know, present it to you so you can have a chance to see it up close. Um, that's Sally with a great horned owl. We also had a big snapping turtle. Um, we also had a skunk. It's kind of nice to see a skunk. Uh, this is how the group reacted when we brought out the skunk. Um, they, 
kind of jumped right up on those tables and the unique reaction. Um, when we talk about Lowell and its natural resources, Anyway, if you, uh, one thing, I, again, I just learned this the uh, other day when I was at a Birds of Prey present, but if you do this, can you hear that? This is, this is the eagle feather. But if I do this, this is from a great horned owl, and can you hear anything? You, hear the, you can hear a little bit, but these feathers are very, very soft, fringe, because owls fly silently. So I'll pass these around. These are feather tufts up here, not ears, and he's just trying to sort of look a little bit like um, a piece of bark, you know, and it, uh, often little owls will be so close up to a tree that you'll walk right by them, you'll never see them. People have brought them into their houses on trees. <laughs> um, so he's, he's trying to look tree-like, but the fact some owls have an ear here and an ear here, and they literally can triangulate and hunt in total darkness. Hey, George Gonzalez here, Executive Officer of Environmental Club. Environmental Club meets every Thursday for recycling and environmental meetings. You can check up with us on uh, our Facebook page at the LHS Environmental Club. Uh, check in on our monthly activities and other programs we take part in. Also, helpful uh, reminder, we have unlimited recycling here at Lowell, so recycle as much as you want and give back to the environment. Mm -hmm.